You're watching T2T Boxing in association with IFL TV and KO Clothing. Here with me, I'm joined by Haytham Lemus. Thanks for joining us, Haytham. Thank you. Last time we caught up after your uh, after your last fight. Here we are, media day ahead of March 12th. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, on the fight that you've got uh, coming up? I'm excited. I mean, it's the biggest fight I've uh, had so far. It's a state title fight. So also, it's an eighth rounder, so I haven't gone that far yet. So pretty excited about that. Excellent. And obviously, you've been training for those those longer fights. Have you been sparring for for longer? And yes, yes. How also, everything for longer rounds, up to nine rounds for now sparring. So that's also a first. This is new things for me. Excellent. And how's how's that been feeling? Are you enjoying waking up in the morning still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all exciting. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. And, and I know you're training down with with Mark Lucas. So are you guys? Do you guys spar with each other at yeah, all? Yeah, all the time. We do plenty of party training. Yeah. Excellent. And um, you know, massive, massive card. I know from say our previous videos that you've obviously got a big following back home as well as yes. here in Australia. Um, so the guys will obviously be able to stream that fight live on Epicenter TV. Um, how does that feel for yourself to to fight on such a big card and for people to be able to watch it back home? Yeah, uh, it's exciting and it uh, motivates me even more to train harder. It motivates me to wake up early morning, motivates me to spar better, to perform better. It motivates me to win the title. Okay? This, this is the first thing, first time I'm going through this. So, well excited. Excellent. And um, you know, for those those people who haven't seen you before, don't know of you, um, obviously we mentioned that you have a, a you know, very strong amateur pedigree. Um, give the guys back home just, just an idea of, of you know what you did in your amateur days before moving out to Australia. And let's see. Uh, I was ranked uh, fourth in England in 2012. I won the London title. I won a two time Harangay Box Cup title in London, which is a multinational championship tournament. Let's see. I won the Maltese Championships. I uh, won King of the Ring in Sweden twice, which is the biggest tournament in Sweden, basically. Yeah. So, uh, plenty of uh, Scandinavian countries. European countries come, come to go to that country for that tournament, and I won it twice. Excellent. And so you've obviously travelled a, a fair bit yeah, with, um, around, with your yeah, fighting. Yeah, quite a few. How does um, how does fighting in Australia compare with, say, fighting in the UK and, and travelling around Europe? Sorry, sorry. How does uh, being in Australia compare to, to fighting in Europe? Uh, I guess it's a. I don't know. They're, they're both good. So. Uh, Maybe the, the level here? No, they're both, they're both quite f si similar, except here, I'm, uh, back there I was uh, an amateur, and over here I'm a professional. Yeah, so that's the difference is that, of course, VS professional, okay? Back there I was amateurs with head guards, over here is well, pro yeah. boxing, longer rounds, you know. It's a different game. Different game. Excellent. And, and if you were to become, uh, if you're victorious on March 12th, have you got an idea once you've got that state title of what the next step is for yourself? I don't know. I really don't know. That's, Take his account. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to speak with my trainer and then we'll see from there. Excellent. Well, I wish you all the best, Haytham. I know you've got a lot to do today while you're here, so um, we'll let you get off with that. Until then, um, we'll obviously catch up with you on March 12th. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Thank you.